Hello and welcome back to the channel guys, this is Tom from Kudosold.com Today I'm going to do a review of the Chelsea boots that I really like It's right here underneath my desk So, I have a thing with Chelsea boots, I find them very interesting and I'm very fond of them It's a bit sad because my feet are on the bit of a flatter side and sometimes the Chelsea boots do not really look good on me and um, for example if the Chelsea boots are too narrow or if they have a low profile because of the size of my feet and then the flatness it doesn't look very good but I do enjoy how they look and it's very easy to find Chelsea boots in the UK um, it's a very classic kind of boots I don't know about the US or Canada or Australia I know that in Australia it's quite big as well but I know in other countries let me know if Chelsea boots are big in your country or not and these are Chelsea boots from a very classic company in the UK Kirkland and Jones a lot of you guys already know what Kirk and Jones is so I'm not going to go into too much detail Kirk and Jones is an English shoemaker based in Northampton UK the official name of the boots are called Chelsea 11 Chelsea 11 are a bit more rounded version compared to the other versions that they have which is Chelsea 8 and they're pointier on the toe and on the elastic bands as well. I know traditionally speaking Chelsea boots are more pointy and not rounded but personally I prefer Chelsea boots rounded at the, at the last as well. Here it's more round and this is more round. Com same as my Iron Williams if you have seen my Iron Williams uh, Chelsea boots, they are not chiseled toes, they're round toes. I prefer those because it's more accommodating for my feet and I can wear them more casually as well. Let's go into the upper design. Chelsea boots always have two elastic gussets on each side and they do not have a secured fastening method. You gotta just rely on the elastic bands. With this unique look, Chelsea boots look very similar in distance meaning if you're just walking on Chelsea boots and if you look at those from afar they all look the same a lot of people think they have same design but they really do not have same design if you look into it very very closely the biggest difference often comes from the number of pieces of leather used on the upper the upper design on these Crocodile and Jones Chelsea 11 boots are made of three main pieces one on the vamp and one each on the side here. Let's not talk about this. This is just there to hold these two together. So three main pieces. In theory, um, Chelsea boots with less panels are more durable because stitching will be less durable compared to the leather. Meaning stitchings can always bust. However, leather is more durable and comfortable to wear in a long period of time. So I guess that's why Kirkland and Jones use double stitching on the stress area on here which is connecting two panels and also the elastic band area is double stitched uh, connecting the elastic band the upper and the lining inside I don't think you can tell really well from the camera but yeah they're all double stitched all the way around as well the leather itself is not very thick the upper leather is dark brown scotch grain leather the scotch grain is a very good and very popular quality of leather and they're not super thick. Crocodile and Jones do not disclose their leather sources, but they said it's European calfskin. The upper leather is supple and feels strong at the same time. Meanwhile, it's not very thick. I enjoy the rolls that the soft grains leather creates. From my experience, I have had shoes that is made of grain leather, but it's too stiff. I'm not gonna say which brand, but I've, sometimes they're too stiff. If it's too stiff, it does not have any joy of wearing and it does not create good rolls like this. But the leather on Chelsea 11, the soft grain, is very soft and comfortable to wear. I'm going to emphasize a lot on comfortable in this video because these boots are really, really comfortable. The elastic bands feel strong but not too thin, as you can see. I have had previously a terrible experience with some brands that the elastic bands just gets destroyed. I'll put a link on here so you can check it out if you want to. It's one of my very, very old videos, so you guys probably won't like it, but you know, if you're interested. The boot has one cotton pull tab on the rear side, uh, which helps to put on the Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots do need pull tabs because it's super hard to put it on. It doesn't make any sense how you're going to put this on without a pull tab. It will be very, very hard. And I guess because the height of the boots is lower than other Chelsea boots, they only need one pull tab. And some Chelsea boots have pull tabs here and here so that you can open it up and put your feet in. But these do not have a high, 
neck so that you don't have to do that. Which is, to be fair, it's not a bad design and I do enjoy pull tab being on its rear side. So let's talk about the outsoles. These chassis boots 11 are made of Vibram Caramato outsoles. I believe Caramato is an Italian word for tank. It also means somehow rubber outsoles. The design has rubber studs everywhere to support your walk. I found them very comfortable, the outsoles very comfortable and light as well. It's almost a light version of a Commando outsoles. I do not have any complaints about these except that the logo is very ugly here. However, it doesn't really matter because it's at the bottom of the outsole and also it keeps the job done. Crocodile Jones has used these Vibram Karamato outsoles in a lot of their new models that they have put out this year, last year, the year before. And I think the low profile on the Karamato Vibram keeps it more casual and I think it's suitable for people who hate chunky outsoles but still wants a good traction on their boots. And of course the boots are 360 Goodyear welted all the way around which means they can be refurbished by Crooked and Jones or any other cobblers if you want. The insoles are leather with the Crooked and Jones logo as you can see and the lining is also very very soft leather as well giving you a very big comfort to wear everything being leather on the upper design except for the elastic and the cotton pull tab. In terms of sizing Crooked and Jones do not offer wider width when you buy boots or shoes which is a bit of a shame. I heard that you can ask during the MTO but their stock models do not have different width sizing. Crooked and Jones has used 335 last for Chelsea 11 which is a pretty generous last but not too generous. These are size 11 and they do feel great, but I feel maybe a half a size down and a width up would have been a dream. So I guess that concludes it's tiny bit longer and slightly narrow for my liking. However, it's not noticeable or uncomfortable. I'm not complaining. Uh, it's actually really comfortable to wear, but maybe it would have been nicer, let's say. And my personal thought on these are they look amazing in my opinion that as, as I wear them for a longer time they're looking more and more better and on overall an amazing pair of boots. I am keep repeating the word comfortable because they are really really comfortable to wear. And these are my go-to Chelsea boots because I can wear them to formal work or even casual just night out. Um, I don't think you can probably wear these with suits anyway. What I mean by formal work meaning just you know everyday work you know no one will say anything about these because they still do look quite formal and I know that some people will say oh no they're not formal but what I mean by that is it's you know it's suitable for the office um, rather than high-end formal where you have to wear tuxedo and black tie and you know all that you know formal stuff the price on these Chelsea 11s are currently at 500 British pound that gives you around 600 US dollars for my viewers from the America and Crooked and Jones, you know up their price recently. I say recently like a year ago But are they worth the price? I think they are of how comfortable they are and also very good quality leather Everything is amazing and I do feel like they're durable and also light as well I think you will most definitely wear these for a long period of time and I don't think you will be disappointed. Some people have mentioned before that they feel like the rolls on the leather gets very rugged quickly. In my opinion that could be a good thing because the, the leather on the upper is almost getting molded to your instep and giving you a more comfort as you wear them for a longer time. I'm telling you the leather is very soft and also durable at the same time. I don't know how they do that. But yeah, I'll keep you updated. I'm going to wear them for a longer time, obviously. I'm not going to sell them. These are not in my sales list. I am selling some of my boots to other people. Um, Abbott's shoes, for example. Um, but yeah, these are on my list where I'm going to wear them for a longer time. This just makes me want to buy more Crooked and Jones. And you know, my wallet is crying at the moment. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you do have any questions about this, please let me know and I'll come back with more videos next time. Maybe I'll do a comparison video. Let me know if you guys wanna watch that. Bye bye.